Hello, I'm going to be showing you today how to reset the password in Drupal 7. It's a little bit different than Drupal 6 as you'll need a hash string generated from Drupal itself as well as the uh, which you'll enter into the database directly. So what we'll need is the database name and this hash string. Now to get the hash string, it's very simple. You can just go to uh, the Dr Drupal password reset article in our knowledge base and download the pw underscore reset dot php file and once you've got that file downloaded you can then go back to your cpanel and then upload it to your hosting package which will then generate a hash string for you so uh, we'll in your cpanel click on file manager then click on web root and show hidden files and click go Then you can click on upload and then you can upload this file into the hosting package Once you've done that, you now you can go ahead and get your database name. Now to do that, you'll double click on the sites folder, then double click on the default folder, then select the settings.php file and click edit. And edit again on the top on the pop-up screen. And then what you'll be looking for is your cPanel username. That'll be the easiest way to find your database name. And here you can see database the drpl1 so once you've got that you can close this the file manager then go to cpanel go down to the databases section and click on php my admin now while that is loading you can open up your website forward slash pw underscore reset dot php Now you see once that page loads, it generates this string here and you can copy that and go into your database. Then go down to the users table. Then you click edit next to the username. Now in the pass row, you'll remove what's entered in there and paste in the new string and then click go. Now the new string is generated for a password called temporary pass. Now if you do want it to generate a different password hash for you, you just need to update that in the file itself. Now to do that, you just need to go back into the file manager again and edit that pw underscore reset file and here where it says temporary password you can then enter in your new password and once you've saved that and you go back into domain address forward slash pw underscore reset dot php it'll generate a new hash which you can copy and then paste in again into the password field. Once you've done that, click go again and it'll save that new password for you.